Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I can eat a thousand of these. Don't worry then everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been here coming at you from Miko Live Ka. Ukraine, a small village located two hours drive south from Odessa, right here on the Black Sea coast. And today what we're gonna do is visit Seamen and Goats. This is like a, a dairy farm, they have a restaurant, and they have something very, very unique, which is goat therapy. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna explore, and see what they got for us. Natasha, uh, hi. you found this place. Yeah. I'm excited. Nice, check this out. Oh, they have boats in here, they have old trucks, and they have goats, goats, goats everywhere. Baby goats. Oh, I love it. What's up, guys? This is Yulia. She will show us everything. David, pleasure. So we're done. We're going to feed the goats? Yes, and they will come all to us. Yes. I love this place. Look at this. Shipping containers. They have a boat here, piano. They have a place you could sit in the middle. Over here, have some food. Everybody's coming to us. We have the food. They're eating me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fast, they fast. Save me, save me. No! Save me from crazy <laughs> All right, guys, come. Hey, who wants? Who wants? Oh! <laughs> What else is inside? Okay, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> take it, take it, take it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, getting attacked by goats. They want all the food. <laughs> This is amazing. I have no food. Leave me alone. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I am full of dirt, partly manure. We're gonna go inside here. So this is like the goat stable. I don't know exactly the name for it, but this is where they live, right? So they have the grass there, which they eat, and they milk them right here. This is awesome. Love this place. What a hidden gem. So this is where they milk them. It's very similar to how they milk cows, right? So they go inside and they have food here. So while they eat, they milk. And then when it's done, they lift this up and then the goats leave and go down the stairs and go out, right? And this is what the machines that they use to milk the goats. <laughs> Be careful where you step. It's a little slippery. Got some mud, got some manure. And over here, what do they have? That's lavender. That's lavender. Wow, beautiful. I love lavender. Yeah, the best thing about lavender is the smell, right? The fragrance. I actually bought some lavender in uh, Kiev. David, we go to hot houses where they grow vegetables without any pesticides, all natural. Just tomatoes for sure, yeah. right? And then probably some carrots, because whatever they're feeding the goats, right? Yeah. That's what they're growing here. Oh, this is beautiful. I really love this place. She's also gonna build some cottages or some guest houses right out here, right next to the lavender fields. What an experience. This is sort of like Turtle Farm Albania. We'll get there one day to this level. This is incredible. Wow, fantastic, whoa. The reason they're using these greenhouses to grow tomatoes and other vegetables is because there's not enough water in the area. As you can see, there's like a hose that goes right through here and every single day at a certain time, they give them water. And it's really hot in here actually. What are they growing there, cabbage? They're planting bell peppers. The cabbage is already gone because it was very uh, early. They are almost done with it, you see, and now they're planting bell peppers. So the vineyard right here doesn't belong to the farm, but there's a vineyard next door that belongs to the neighbors, right? See, these are tiny vines though because they're not as big as the other ones, right? These are like minuscule. So many greenhouses. So it's where they start, you know, they plant something small, grow from seeds to the little sapling and then put in the other. My favorite part about coming to places like this is getting to eat some vegetables straight. Mm. Oh, that basil is so good. Have a little piece, another piece. Mm-hmm. They also have cucumbers. What else do they have? Hmm. Mm. Oh, the basil. Mmm, feels so good. Delicious. And over here they have two more greenhouses, so just more vegetables, right? Horseradish and cucumbers here. Horseradish and cucumbers here. And so you also have a restaurant in Kiev, right? That's what you're saying? And then you send it there. 
отсюда вот туда. As you walk back to the farm, you'll notice over here they have a construction site, and that's their restaurant. It opens June 9th, 2021. So if you watch this after that date, you can come here and eat there. I'm sure we'll still eat some stuff here now. Maybe some cheese. Do they have mussels? Oh, yeah, or oysters? Sorry, not mussels, oysters. I love this place, huh? <laughs> this coffee is very different. I've only seen it one time in my life and that was in Chennai. It's the mud coffee. So they put the coffee and water into these like little containers. I don't know what they call them, small cups. They put them into sand and then that's how they heat it up, right? Mmm, it's gonna be so good. And milk? So this is goat milk right here. Mmm. I'll have a little more. Super fresh goat milk. They got today from these goats. Incredible. Mm, so fresh. Wow, it's like creamy. So I guess they're making a milkshake for me too. A milkshake, special milkshake with the goat milk. Oh yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the cheese, in terms of the textures and taste, it's almost like a like a more dense mozzarella. Better. Mm -hmm. Better, yeah. Better for sure. Mmm. Mmm. Not salty. Oh, you could have a whole ball. And here we have some more cheese. So this is a different type of cheese. What's the name of this one? Edegeski. Edegeski. Oh, so fresh, so cold. Oh, okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's too much. Strain them out. Oh. Mm. A little different from the last one. Mmm. What else can I say? It's not salty. Nice and yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Very different texture. It's a younger cheese. Mm -hmm. It's like frosted. Mm. So it has texture. I wouldn't say like feta. It's, and it's not salty at all. Mm -hmm. it's just young cheese. Wow, from goat milk from right here. Give me that. <laughs> it's I know it's yours, it's yours. So this is almost like panacotta, right? With condensed milk they make themselves. Mmm. Oh, extremely sweet. Mm-hmm. So it's like panacotta, but it's not as soft, a little more denser. Mm, almost like dulce leche on top. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. It's too good. One more bite for good measure. Eating a lot of cheese, a lot of pork. Mm. Four seconds, three seconds. Oh, <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Excellent, I know, I know. I'm just like in awe with it. Mm. It's like crema catalana, creme brulee. Obviously, more creme brulee, right? Mm. Here's the milkshake. Mm, it's more of a liquidy milkshake, very frothy. So you put the milk in the blender. I mean, it's the top, it's, as you can see, very frothy. I would say it's similar to almost uh, the way they do chai. A little different, obviously, but this is the top part, right? Top layer. So fresh. When you come here, you're gonna eat and drink lots of dairy, milk, and cheese. <laughs> and this is the Turkish coffee. I love how they did it, right? Right there in the sand. Oh, it tastes so good. Mm. It's like soft. Obviously, it's strong. Not too hot. Let's sit there for an extra like five minutes. Mm. This is better than Turkish coffee. Just the way she did it is incredible. Ooh, getting jolty. Boom, my man. It's too big for milkshake. No. <laughs> Excellent, huh? Yes. Hey, buddy. Hey, cutie. Oh, the babies. Oh. Uh. Hey, buddy. They're so nice. So cute. I want to go. I think I'm going to start my own farm in Miami with goats. No, no alligators. Alligators aren't as cute. And this bus is the chicken bus. It's full of chickens. This is their house? 
So obviously, chicken bus every single day, they have eggs. That's the best part about having these chickens, right? Every single day you have the freshest eggs. You don't have to get, you know, eggs in the supermarket. That's not fresh. It is good. Maybe we make some eggs now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> My friend here is too kind. She just gave me a bunch of panacotas, some cheese, and she said, we're gonna do a master class. We're gonna go see where they get the oysters, right? Oysters, yeah, because they're right there. So they have to have it around here. So we're going straight that way in the car. I can't wait. Let's go. Awesome, let's go. Marika. 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 Let's go shuck some oysters. After being in Ukraine for almost two weeks, I finally get this close to the Black Sea. <laughs> it's been a while. Last time was when I was in Bulgaria, 2013. I had no idea they had a restaurant right here on the Black Sea. So they have seafood from the Black Sea, oysters, oysters galore. Cannot wait. Wow, so beautiful. Wow, look. Up there you see that is a net. It's stationary. They beat up the special piles, 8 meters deep. And they cut the fish like in stationary manner without dragging the net off the board. My friend, how oh, are you? Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm very cold. Thank We're going to have some oysters? I like oysters. I love oysters too. And they're right there. Like, I want five dozens. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't think this day could have got any better. But look at this. You got fresh oysters from Ireland and France right here looking at the Black Sea. What an incredible, beautiful experience. Let's drop that in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. I love slurping it. Mmm. Look at the rest of this. Oh, so yummy. So fresh. Mmm, succulent. Oysters every day. Get a little bit of that horseradish, right? Woo! So you can either use the little pick or you can just go in like this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, spicy. Oyster time. A little bit of that horseradish. Mmm, the best. This restaurant is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It's like being on a Greek island. That's sort of the feeling I'm getting between the white, got the nets. You can come early in the morning, you can actually see them pulling out the fish. Awesome. I wish we would have got here for that, but it's fine. And right now we're gonna eat some black sea mussels with some what is it parsley what else oh my gosh mm-hmm i can eat a thousand of these so we have a little thing here little can put them out and eat right mm-hmm oh creamy mmm wow what did they put in here just oil right Mmm, and as you get deeper, you have the sauce, right? At the very bottom. Mmm. It's like a creamy, oily, parsley sauce. My boy James here is like, David, here's your hands. Mmm. Oh. So good. I can easily go through this entire bowl. There's like three dozen here. Easily like 50 in here, huh? Mm -hmm. It does have cream. Nice cream. Mm. Oh wow, last time I had mussels this good was in Albania. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I love the parsley, the onions. Mm, look at that, all the cream. Oh. So they have an extensive seafood menu. All the fish comes from right here, including the mussels. Mmm. Whoa. I love this restaurant. So good. My boy James and I are just destroying these, these mussels. Hey, who's here? Got a cat here. Hey, hey. Get off. <laughs> he wants my mussels. They're mine. <laughs> Look at the very bottom, you have the amazing cream. Mm. 
Oh yeah, and the owner just informed me they're bringing out some fish now. So I'm not gonna bore you with this. I'm gonna enjoy. Mm-hmm. All right, you want one? You want one? You can have one. Next up, we have this incredible assortment of fried fish from the Black Sea. There's five different types. Look at this one. This is like a long one. Whoa. So you said take off the heads of all of them, right? And then you just go in and eat, and you eat everything. And there are some bones. And like that, you want my fish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, so different. I've never seen this one. It's like a super long, right? What is this one? Sargan. Sargan. Wow. Mmm, nice and crunchy. Lots, lots of white meat. Hey, go down, go down. All right, you know what? You can have it. Go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave me alone. Smallest one with head. Yeah. And the smallest one is these over here. It's called Hamsa. Hmm? Oh, we can just eat them all. My mother's Italian. I've been to Cisnatico and Rimini on the Adriatic Sea. It's, uh, it's in the next region, so I'm going to get Romana. When I go to a restaurant, they just serve this, like big plates. Eat a million. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, if you want to, you can remove the spine, right? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. So good. And this is the most expensive fish in the Black Sea. Remove that head. And then go in here. And open it up. Wow. Yeah, please be careful with these bones. So many. Mmm, look at that flesh right here. Oh. Oh, so I'm gonna go in here, take it apart, take off all this nice white meat. Oh. Stabrita. They all have different tastes. So different. So what is your favorite? My favorite? The ones I can eat like this. These are my favorites. The easy ones. Just, um, just pop them. But I just like going in like this. Obviously it's fried fish. So taste is gonna have that crunch, right? But they're lightly battered. It's not like super fried. Mmm. Okay. All for me. Mm, mm, mm. One more. I'm taking this home. All the dogs here eat fish like cats. <laughs> That's what she was saying. They like rip it apart. My friends, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ah! And that's it, my friends, Seamen and Cheramorca. Incredible two hour drive, roughly a two hour drive from Odessa down here on the Black Sea coast, headed towards the Danube Delta. You have to visit both these spots. So unique. I've never been to a goat farm like that. I mean, walking around, feeding the goats, seeing their greenhouses, then eating cheese. What else do we eat? Oh, I had like that panacota. Oh man, everything was so fantastic. Then we drove out here, which literally was like a five minute drive down on the road to the Black Sea. Went inside this beautiful restaurant. Feels like I'm in Greece out here. Oh, the food was fantastic. Oysters, mussels, and fish. Most of that, well, the only thing that wasn't from the Black Sea was the oysters. That comes from France and Ireland. The rest of it, they got it, you know, from right there. Farm to table. And we actually just saw the fishermen go out there to get more fish, but unfortunately, with time constraints right now, it's 5, 10, so we got a two hour drive home, so we're done. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. How much food do we have left? For you fish for yeah. breakfast. Fish for breakfast.